hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to be showing you how to make a devil's food cake now before i get to the recipe if you haven't got the ingredients head to the shops and go and get what you need so i've got a tablespoon of instant coffee you haven't got a powder you want a coffee just have it within you now i've got 350 grams of light muscovado sugar now i'll put 100 grams in this and i also got some cocoa powder and it says green and black in it There is 80 grams of cocoa powder. Now I'm going to whisk this. I've got 300 ml of boiling water. If you want to mix it in a jug, just watch me mix it in a large balloon whisk. Now whisk this until it is smooth and has no lumps in it. over a low heat you can melt the remaining sugar in a medium pan I've got some 100 grams of dark chocolate As you can see, the dark chocolate has been melted already, like the one over here. Yeah?
let that chocolate melt until it's melted along with the remaining sugar. If your chocolate is like this, see if your chocolate has been melted too like this. Look how the chocolate is all being melted and the sugar hasn't dissolved yet. It's a 300 grams of unsalted butter. You can see that the butter has started to melt. What you should be doing is let the butter melt in a low heat. This butter started to melt there. As I can hear, the water is starting to boil, meaning the butter has melted right there. As you might have seen, the butter has almost melted, almost mixing with the chocolate and sugar mixture I made earlier. It might turn into a chocolatey flavour. Now it has turned into a chocolatey melted butter mixture. Now it has been melted. I got a tablespoon of vanilla extract or vanilla bean extract. I'm gonna put some six eggs, which is already been beaten up. And I'm also gonna put in this cocoa and coffee mixture. Then what you're going to do is mix with the other whisk, like this one. And if you ever done a devil's food cake like this one, you can make it sort of any event.
I'm going to add in a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda as well as a teaspoon of baking powder and to add to this is 220 grams of plain flour which will be sifted in a separate bowl and I'm also going to add in lastly is a pinch of fine sea salt This is all, it has been sifted now, so I'm going to add in this to the mixture. I'm going to slowly, gently mix it until it is like a cake mixture. You're going to slowly, gently mix this with a balloon whisk. Don't do this too fast, otherwise it'll just go everywhere. Now what I'm going to do is put the batter into two tins Now I'll grease the tins so they don't stick to the pan Now you can use a spatula to get the mixture off the, the bowl. As I'm doing now, I'm using a spatula to get off the bowl. And please, for, for God's sake, don't waste any of the mixtures.
Now the guys have been divided equally to two pans. I preheated the oven to 170 degrees. Now I'm going to put this in for 30 minutes until it is risen. Now I'm going to make a chocolate ganache frosting and this is a frosting where it is loosened up and I'm going to melt the 200 grams of milk chocolate and 100 grams of dark chocolate and also to melt it also I'm going to add in some some 100 grams of unsalted butter just to note this don't let the water touch the bottom of the bowl can you see the gently simmer of the water that's what you should like when you're melting the chocolate and butter as I can see already the butter has started to melt and so does the chocolate when it gets to the milk melting stage this all should melt now it's got to the melting stage of the chocolate and butter now I'm going to show you what to, what other ingredients you should be putting in next next is I'm going to take the bowl off the heat so it is called the double cream which is going to be added as a ganache frosting so what, what I'm going to do is put in a tablespoon at a time As you can see, I'll put a tablespoon at a time.
I've got 250 ml of double cream and you can keep putting in a tablespoon of that just to make it look like a ganache frosting many ganache frostings tend to have double cream in it or any sort of cream you can get the double cream in any supermarket or in the shops As you can see, I poured all the ganache in the, all the double cream in the frosting. And I mix it all in with the butter and whisk. The ganache frosting has been mixed with the double cream. Now I'm going to leave this to set for 15 minutes until it's set like a ganache frosting. This is a ganache consistency that should be, be, should be formed. What I'm going to do with this ganache frosting is to put a third of to put a third of the mixture onto the cake. The ganache is essential when you want to make cupcake when you make a cake like this a devil's fruit cake one or you can make a chocolate cake with a ganache in it so what i'm doing is i'm putting i'm spreading a ganache onto the devil's fruit cake So after spreading it, you can put the next layer of cake on. So this will be the devil's brew cake. And you can add the rest of the ganache on top hands around the sides
Now you can see, I'm going to spread it on the top and on the sides as well. Now I've made this cake for your instruction purposes. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge for 30 minutes. Do you like this recipe? Subscribe if you did. And put a thumbs up.